Welcome back to Fallout 4, everybody. I'm your host, Monster Gods, and we're picking up literally right where we left off. We just got down to the bottom of uh, Trader Joe's shop, and by that I actually mean Slocum Joe's basement, which is essentially Trader Joe's in Fallout version. But um, we are about to enter, so let's take a look here and make sure we are all set. Because actually, this, like I said, I'm picking up right where we left off, so. I don't actually know what I all picked up. Um, we're gonna flip on up two baseball grenades. And. Oh, I should have upgraded my bat when I was at my base. Dang it. I'm actually kind of looking to see if I have a. I don't. I, have, I want a rifle. Well, this will have to do. So let's head on in. Where's my robot? I wanna make. What was that? Oh, it's Deacon. <laughs> I forgot Deacon was with me. I was so scared for a second there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yep. This is going to be an interesting little place because I don't have any actual like close range weapons other than this guy. So, let's see what we got here. Um, hey. Nothing? Okay. I'm gonna take these bottles because they're bottles and I like bottles. Laundry green dress. I always get excited whenever I see like a suitcase because I like the random little clothes I can collect, which is really weird, I know, but I like collecting random clothes in this game. Bowl, bowl, cake, man, man, a bunch of like random miscellaneous stuff that's actually gonna be really useful. Okay, um, this is definitely worth it. The Institute bastards powered off the elevator. We kill all of them, and we still gotta go in the back way. Well, the slightly bright side here is it'll be easy getting out. <clears throat> you buy that? I don't. So, the elevator is broken, so I can't actually even use this way. So I actually have to go the other way anyways. The elevator's hidden behind the bookcase. Yeah, I kind of caught onto that, Deacon. A little slow on the uptake there, buddy. So, that was actually a complete waste of time going down there. Which actually, I find that kind of funny. You know, if that wasn't like a load screen, that probably wouldn't even bother me at all, but maybe that being a load screen, that kind of sucks, because you just go into a load screen for basically no reason. At least currently. Well, yeah, because it goes into an elevator, so either way, that's pointless. What a weird choice for them to do. Oh, well. Did I go upstairs? I don't remember. I feel like I did, but I honestly have no idea at this point. Let's see, there we go. Yep, I, so I did. I did come up here. Head on back downstairs. And head on out. Okay, we're gonna make sure none of these mines respawn, because this game has a really bad tendency to respawn explosives. Hey, look at that. Another mine. Alright, so we seem to be in good shape from there. I think the entrance is up here somewhere. Which actually, our base is like right there, so maybe I should actually run up there and quickly grab a close quarters weapon. Yeah, I think it's that tunnel right there. I'm gonna head back to base quick like. Um, I think I'd rather play it safe than redo all this for no reason. Which is kind of how you have to do survival. That's something I wanna like tell everyone. In case, like, you think you can just run and gun this, or you're gonna run and gun it. If you run and gun it, you're gonna end up redoing a lot of progress, because you're gonna die a lot. Um, currently, I don't have a good close range weapon. I mean, like, I have this. Oh, actually, I'm kind of up to 130 rounds again, now that... Or, 120. Whatever. Because of all the enemies we've killed, but... Um, oh, hey. We're collecting a bunch of junk, which is good. I want to use my... I think I'm either going to use my revolver... Oh, actually, before I forget... This should prove interesting. Yes. I wonder what you'll build next. I'm going to go with aluminum. Oh, I don't have blacksmith brick. Dang it. I don't know how I missed that last time. Okay, I really need to get... materials to upgrade that, actually, now that I think about it. So I only need... Wait, do I have... Oh, I have science one, too, actually. So, I'm 
need that. So, it's I need crystal and adhesive. Yeah. Well, what about this thing? Can I upgrade this thing? Cause this, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I'm already like the gun's already better than I can already upgrade it. I think. Yeah. Oh, actually, you can give it a medium magazine, but that'll make it heavier, which doesn't really help me at all. Yeah, we'll just leave that. Um, but what we will do is oh, transfer. There we go. We can go ahead and put away those, and we definitely don't need eleven of those. And then toss that down. Put the junk away. And then I think I'm gonna, I can't decide if I want to use a shotgun or if I want to use my um. Oh damn! I need a 308 ammo. Well, I'm not gonna be sniping anymore probably, so I probably actually don't even need that rifle anymore. Yeah, so I don't think I'm gonna be sniping anymore. So let's put the. Actually, I'm gonna put that in here. Put that in there, and I kind of want to use the revolver. So let's see how much ammo I have for the revolver. 44. I'm s fucking 17 bullets. Come on. That's seriously all I've collected this entire time. Man, that's ridiculous. I wonder if I've accidentally sold it when I wasn't paying attention. I think I might have. Which, in, you know, in that case, it'd all be on me, which, you know, I think it definitely could be. Like I said, I haven't really been paying attention, so. I'm not going to put it past myself to do something stupid like that. Let's see. Make sure I have... Okay, so, in that case, we're going to need a some kind of shotgun. Well, I do have my sawed-off shotgun, which I can go that route, which I haven't used that in a while, so that'd be kind of fun. Or I could go with the combat sh shotgun, which should actually be... How much does that thing weigh? Seven pounds? Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think we're going to use the sighted combat shotgun. Do I have any other combat shotguns? Combat rifle. Sure, actually, let's do this. Let's equip that so that way I can tell which one's best. Oops. I just picked something up. Oh, 308 ammo. Well, what does what the, sh the rifle use? Like 45 ammo, I think. Uh, shells. Shotgun shells. Oh shit, I think I sold all those. Oh no, I have 168. Yay! I thought I sold them all, so... Go me. Uh, let's take a look here. Damage. So we're gonna go ahead and go through... Rifles. Okay, so why is that... That's crazy that... Oh, it's pipe action, yeah. Or bolt action. So that is better in every single way except damage. So that's interesting. Same with that. Oh, actually, I could go back to using a 10 millimeter. I haven't used one of those in a while. Instead of the laser pistol. That might actually be a good idea. And actually, if I think about this, I'm going against synths. They have good laser resistance, but not very good ballistic resistance, if I remember correctly. I could be obviously remembering. You know what? Actually, I think that's true. So let's take a look at the 10 millimeter pistols here. I wish I could sort them by type. I mean, like, I could do it myself, but that would take fucking forever. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the different 10 millimeter pistols and perhaps switch them out along with the uh, shotgun that I found. Where's the other one? There was another one that was decent. Oh, no, it's just short. That's the only difference. Okay, so that doesn't matter. All that good. Um, weapons, yep. So, the... Which one is better? This one is technically better. But I 100% do not want an auto. So, which one is that? That's like near the end, isn't it? Yeah, damn. That's crazy. That's like one of the last ones. So advanced is the only one that's technically better than it. Cal oh, so I think the other one is just hardened. Which one is that? Oh, that's just way down here. That's 22 damage. That's shitty, actually. Drat. 
so. Hmm. Well, dang. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay, it's got a powerful one, which is, I mean, a little better. 27 compared to, what is it? If it had the automatic, it would be 18. Yeah, so 27 damage versus 18. And, eh, it's, I mean, it's about the same damage, so I mean, that wouldn't be terrible, but critical shots do double damage, and but we're facing people with strong resistance against that crap, so that's not going to work out for us. So no pistol for us. At least 10 millimeter. Which doesn't surprise me. You kind of need to actually invest in the points to actually make them useful. Like those things like that anyways. So we're going to go ahead and throw... I might keep that just to build up criticals if I need to. Yeah, let's see, let's see what I can do with this shotgun. Can I do anything with it? I like the light frame because it keeps it light so I can get more shots in. Although I wouldn't actually be against doing one of like the, maybe a hardened one. That'd be 62 damage. Oh, but that'd make it so much heavier though. I like that it's light. That accuracy is garbage, 25. Um, let's see. Yeah, all this stuff is standard, so in all honesty, it's not even that good. But, you know, at this point in time, it's better than nothing. I might try and get that actually the hardened. So, sorry. I, I don't mean to be unprepared. I was a little more prepared at the beginning of the episode when I was just going to kind of go in and do it, but now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm just going to get myself killed if I just kind of run in there. I might just switch over to this thing at this point. 36 fire rate versus 20. Better accuracy. Yeah, the sawed off shotgun might actually be a better choice in all honesty. Um, yep, no mods that are going to make it worth it. Unless I just full-on switch over to this thing, the combat rifle, versus um, 45 damage. I mean, it's got a little bit better damage. But I could just sit there and go with this thing, and then everything increases. Like, everything. Yeah, why does that one use shells, actually? You know, that's something I was going to look at. That's, so this is just a rifle versus Let's take a look here are they actually considered two different weapons? I thought they were the same thing actually oh no that is actually short barrel, short stock oh yeah they actually are two different weapons that is completely my bad oh that would make it a shotgun a bit no rifle Nope, I genuinely don't know the difference here. Yeah, I'm just... I didn't realize that, so that's actually my own stupidity. Because I can actually make this into something decent. And I wonder why it's different. <laughs> okay. This is the weapon I actually wanted to use. So, adhesive, gear, and oil is what I actually want. Actually, I kind of want to go with the light version of it. So I'm going to drop the, the weight down to 9.2. And then if I went short, I'd be able to do increased weight by quite a bit. Yeah, so aluminum adhesive I need, looks like. Aluminum adhesive, gear, and oil. So... We are going to do a little bit of crafting here. Um, I'm just going to... Fuck, I don't want to take all. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to do. So we're going to do aluminum. Let's do like this. 
hopefully there's some gears here. And same with oil. You know, actually, why don't I just click this? Gear. And then oil. Put the first thing that has oil in it. <laughs> there it is. Make sure you don't leave oh, anything I think I need adhesive too, actually. Which should be just fine. I think. Not that. Combat rifle. So start with light frame. Well, I could just go harden and go like all out. That'd do a ton of damage. 41 damage versus 30. Much heavier though. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna do it. We're just gonna go harden just for the hell of it. And then if we do shortened barrel instead of doing like the long rifle, it'll be a short rifle. Don't need any of this stuff. That's fine, that's fine. Hmm. Yeah. So short hardened combat rifle. That's what we're gonna go with. So 45 ammo. So that's what I thought. I had the right kind of ammo in my head to begin with. So we're gonna go like that. We're gonna go like that. And we're gonna do say 200 of them. Okay, come on. Oh my god, I hate the system for this. Okay, so weapons now. We're gonna throw in the combat shotgun. Don't need that anymore. And we're gonna have those three. Perfect. So, well, kind of a ragtag thing that we just did there. <laughs> Made that way more complicated than it ever needed to be, but Traveling with you is proving to be we should be all set now. I really need to put one of these water things over by the other side of my base. Alright, so I think we're also going to hop in and, nope, wrong way, pop in a quick save, seeing as we did all this now, I might as well save. Oop. Peckish from lack of food, of course. Food. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so 15 minutes in, we're at, what the hell is this guy doing over here? Dude, Identity dude. Confirmed. he has no, <laughs> come on dude, he has no armor or anything, he's just wandering around out in the middle of nowhere by himself. Guy's trying to give me a heart attack, then get himself killed. Alright, so n I think next my goal is going to be to find a bunch of ammo for my revolver, because I really want to start using that thing. I just want to get the hang of using a revolver because I haven't really used a revolver in this game too much. I used um, Kellogg's a little bit when I got it the first time I played through. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. Okay. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Oh, I'm not supposed to talk to him. Probably supposed to talk to him. Let's find a prototype then. Together with you, I like our odds. First that guy looks like a badass. Override the security lockdown. Okay, so. Well, I can't do that, so that's all you, buddy. <laughs> Fucking master lock. Well, the terminal's on at least. I'm yeah. gonna feed it some passwords. No. No. <laughs> no. Ah, missed one, you cocky bastard. I'm gonna take a screenshot. The prototype's like, deeper inside. I like the way my guy looks. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Someone left a rail sign here. Uh, this one means danger. Yeah, we know. Poor guy bastard. We know. <laughs> Alright, um. So, there we go, there's a bad guy right down there, so. Oh no. Hello? How 
combat initiated. Any idea where they went? Well... Well, first of all, I gotta say, I like the feel of this gun, just in general. So, normally, so what I do is actually there's a gun similar to this. It's a legendary gun that you can buy from one of the vaults. Uh, it's like the Overseer's Guardian or something like that. It shoots an extra projectile. That's usually what I actually use for my... Um, what? Okay. That's usually what I use for my sniper rifle, so I'm not using this gun. I'm not used to using this gun. In close combat. Oh, what the shit? <laughs> what? No way. Oh, come on. Why'd it have to be a bolt action? Oh, that's lame as shit. So, I've found way too many of these, these bolt action pistols so far. I, that's one thing I gotta say. Like, the majority of the weapons I've found are those stupid bolt action pistols. Wait, see the box in the center of that rail sign? That means there's a cache nearby. It's the it same as like the damage one. To hide something before it... I mean, I guess. It's not really that much around. of a cache. Okay, so... Move slower. Wait, did I level up? I don't remember. I thought I did. Nope. Oh, I did I did before this, I think, actually. Next level, I'm taking another level of sneak. Because I feel like I'm being detected way too easy. Tinker oh, hold on. I'm going to throw a grenade down there. Yep. Managed to turn on the defenses. Barely slowed the coursers down, but hey, probably so saved some lives. <laughs> Alright, then I'll let them do this. I don't think you've ever that. seen a courser, but they're top of the line in Institute. Let's fuck up your day tech. Mrs. Boom. There shouldn't be any coursers in here, but if you're there dead. Are, just if they're out there, we'll find them. I find it ironic that I like the kill I got was with a explosive when a dead person right there is named Mr. Boom. <laughs> or Mrs. Boom, sorry. What's this do? Terminal, huh? Well, fuck. Those are all, like, helpful things. Why would I ever want to, like, mess with them? up close carefully make sure I'm looting everything properly man the railroad really likes their freaking flannel Should the need arise these reinforced structures would make excellent cover yeah cover we'll be needing it Okay, so I have a feeling there's gonna be someone right around down there. Just the way this place looks. No? Okay. I, I was wrong. That just looked like a perfect place for a person to be. Suspicious. Make there's sure no one. Another active terminal. We didn't have time to trip the defenses up ahead. Power them up, and we can give our friends a little surprise. Okay. Let's do it. <clears throat> so hopefully these things don't attack me. Okay, activating. It's a weak ass turret. Engaging hostile life form. Hi, that's not a life form, there, buddy. After you, friends. I don't know why he's laying on the ground, but I find that funny for some reason. <laughs> Come on. This has gone pretty smoothly so far. What am I in danger of? 
Oh, there's definitely another guy down there somewhere. I mean, I don't see him, but... Machine gun turret got disintegrated? Okay. Melted? Goofied? Whatever they call it? Damn it! Overweight. Please okay. Come out. If they return, I will be ready. Hey. Come on. Hey. What? All right. So we don't need six of those on us. That will eventually be probably useful. We might actually turn that into a sniper rifle because that's like 88 damage right now. That's crazy. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything like that high level or range-wise. That is amazing. What I would like is if that was um, on a little bit better weapon, perhaps like a basic pipe weapon that does like 38, that uses 38 ammo, that would have been great. But, you know, on like a weapon that has like a 308 chamber, that's not really that great. Because, I mean, that's still just like a single shot kind of thing, so that's not really all that awesome. Um, what? I don't know what I'm supposed to do right here. Like, this looks like a place where they're gonna spawn. Oh shit, they are. They're like right there already. No more hiding for you. Possibly hope. An enemy may be utilizing stealth. It's all you guys. Have at it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Whew, that hurt. So. <laughs> this is so out of my combat league. Violence protocols engaged. Come on. Hop back around that corner. Asshole. This is what I call the two smart computers, where they, they hide in the perfect positions. And it's not even like the positions that are just like, you know, like, luckily standing in a good spot. It's like the positions that are like, are impossible for me to get to. Resistance is futile. Come on. Dude, why have you guys not killed anyone? <laughs> like, look at that. I got hit crossing. But they're standing there and they're not getting hit. Like, come on. Did my head get crippled? I think my head got crippled. No, my head's just not feeling very good. Is yeah, my hey. fucking robot's not even attacking. It's so stupid. Move here. I'll take care of it. Here. Come on. Go help. I must never fear, sir. We'll emerge victorious. Well, I guess I'm just gonna wait here and let Deacon finish out. This is dumb. This is really dumb. Hey, I'm glad you guys get to see how stupid this is. Hey. Head over there. We'll find them. No, that was not. That was stupid. There's nothing simple about that. You guys are fucking idiots. And it's actually all my robot's fault. Over there. I'll get it done. Because my robot should have been firing the entire time. Like, you cannot tell me that this is short, like, long wrist distance. It's like, come on. Why can't I hit him? Thank you. Jeez. Bye bye, Gen Ones. Prepare to be shocked. Not every Slocum's Joe has a massive. Yeah, whatever. Not all that impressed. 
I feel like that should have been way easier. Way, way easier. So, let's not start with a T. Well, I mean... I'm in. We're entering a secret defense intelligence agency research lab. A place that never officially existed. It's called the Switchboard. The prototype is locked up in the heart of the facility. So there's... I am no longer detecting a May as well take what we can. Definitely they won't be needing those items any longer. Let's see here. Of course, there's gonna be three fucking doors to go through. Okay, well, we're just gonna head this way first, because it seems to work. Actually, this gives me an idea. Um, well, one, my limbs are hurt pretty bad, so hopefully that regenerates here. Hey, buddy. I'd be happy to help if I can. We can start by not talking out loud. Let's take a look at what you've got. Uh, let's see here. Where is that pistol? Yeah, so we're gonna try this thing, actually. Because we have 20 bullets for it now, so... Um, I kinda wanna see how it works. Go ahead and put that thing away for now. So, a radiated pistol. Let's try this thing. I feel like this is just gonna be garbage, but... I'm hoping. I can definitely be wrong, and I hope that I am, because if this is a cool weapon, it'd be nice to actually get like a unique, kind of cool weapon that I haven't really used before. Because I've never used, a, well, one, I've never used a bolt-action pistol, and two, I've never used um, any radiated weapon other than like when I found the pipe earlier that I didn't really end up using. Kind of like not so. I'm not a huge fan of melee in this game. A lot of people love it, but I've just never had good luck with it. Um, come on, go. Nothing of direct interest. The reason why I'm scrolling through all these is because I can always come back and read them later if I'm curious what it said. Which sometimes I do. So, I mean, if you guys want to read, feel free to. You know, obviously pause the game and just take a peek. Okay, so we know there's more synths up here, because we heard them talking. Oh, they're probably right through there, aren't they? Yeah, it's almost like a guaranteed thing. It's probably just going to shoot me in the head. <laughs> hey, what's this? Bingo. Oh, hey. More difficult to sneak. Wow, that's perfect. Security's too good. So, I can't do anything with that, so that's nice. All right. Um, well, this looks like I'm gonna get myself killed. Go ahead and disable all these things. Three laser wires, two traps. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Nope, 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 nope. Like, look at how good the AI is compared to, like, the enemy AI versus our AI. Like, look at how good it is. Deacon's not even fighting. Like, where the hell is Deacon? Oh no. Jeez. But on a serious note, seriously, what the f- Hate this bullshit with fucking teammates that don't do anything. So annoying. Man, it just irritates me so much with like teammates that do stuff like that. 
Like this game has like such high Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Dude, it's directly behind us. What are you doing? This game is like seriously dumb. Like seriously, seriously dumb. Like no so like anyone out there, if you're a modder, like mod that shit. Like monitor if they hear gunfire, like hell, just copy and paste enemy AI onto our people. Like seriously. Like, I don't understand it. Like, the enemy AI is so damn smart. Like, look at that. He's, like, waiting around the corner for us. Like, he's not, like... Like, look at how long it took him to kill that guy. This thing had, like, no health left. Ah, oh, it's frustrating. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to get all upset, but... Seriously, it's irritating. I will limit the pain I inflict. Possible. Um. So many different ways to go. I don't know which way to go. Okay, mirrors. Mirrors should contain Gone. something decent. Excellent. Chem wise. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a peek into the bathrooms quick like before I continue doing anything else. Never fear, sir. I will ensure your safety to the best of my ability. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure you have very much ability right now, buddy, so... Say what you want. I think you're useless. Well, you're a good pack mule. Which currently is essentially his job, so I mean, I guess I can't really be too mad at him. Because effectively his job is being a pack hey. mule, so... I'd be happy to help if I can. Glad to be of service. I just kind of wish that they made it so that way they weren't so damn stupid. But, what can you do? Nothing. That's what. I'm hoping that if I, once I give him better weapons, uh, he'll actually, like, you know, kind of use them a little bit more. So I mean, right now he has a laser pistol and the cryo gun thing, which a cryo gun is very short range, so I do understand why... He wouldn't be using that thing, but I mean his other weapon is very long range, so I suggest we take as much as we can carry. Movement detected. Look at that. That thing is waiting around the corner for us. <laughs> like that's so stupid. I mean like it's good, that's a good guard, but come on robot. He's just standing there. Nope, I saw him fire back once, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna move out of the way. They're actually fighting now, so I'll just kinda wait here. I'll cover you, sir. Target down. Deacon sucks. Like, man, Deacon really sucks. He's just not good at all. I don't think Heads I. What? I don't think I saw any of Deacon's shots hit. I mean, like you know, we can't really see him from here, but you can kind of tell the difference between like who's hitting just because of the amount of damage they take. Like, um, oh shit, I need that 45 ammo. Oh, we got a ton of fusion cells now, which is awesome. Which is kind of like part of the reason why I wanted to do this so much. Um, oh, but. Deacon, yeah, Deacon has a ballistic weapon and he deals kind of like a shotgun thing, or not a shotgun, no. Early, like, in low what level ballistic weapon. Where's that play button? Compared Stanley. to Stanley. the other companions. Laser Open weapon. Says me. Okay, so our first piece of combat armor. Um, that's actually probably not going to be that good because. Be careful. Um, yeah, we However, don't know what's in there. But... Whatever was here could return soon. So okay. Tommy Whispers didn't make it out. Hey, take this. So improve Fat's hit chance, 25%. Wow, that's fucking amazing. But again, I'm not gonna use that because that's like cheating, basically. Um. Yeah, I mean, in case you guys didn't notice, I used the, um, the, the other one, what's Excellent. it called? The elevator's at the end of the hall. 
the Should righteous thing on the trigger get out since we from Paladin path, Dance. Right? But part of the reason why you use that is because it has like, and to me, it's balanced. But like this thing, look at this thing, this is bullshit. Like this should not be a weapon thing, like, the deliverer, like, improve hit chance in VATS and 25% less action points, which means you're going to get like 10 shots off, if not more on that thing, that's just, I feel like that's cheating, like, just flat out cheating. Like, sure, you have better accuracy and you can shoot more times. Okay. Obviously, I can use it and just go to town and be like, yeah, I'm awesome, but... Nah. But, I just found something that I consider a gold mine. Hazmat suits! Yes! I was actually debating about how I was going to go get, like, a hazmat suit just not too long ago in my head. <clears throat> ah, the switchboard. A lot of heads up. Memories. Yes. Stop talking, Deacon. Yeah, so the um the hazmat suits are freaking awesome because, you know, you can go into radiated zones. And that basically is gonna open up several new options for us in terms of what we wanna do. Because the some of the random areas we go to, there's a lot of like um what's that called? Radiation things nearby, so you can't really like go into them without like dying. Like, just being around it, so. It'll be nice to have the option to actually go into there. Alright, so there should be one more guy for sure. We heard him talking just a little bit ago, so. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. No! So I ran the wrong way, obviously, because I ran into like six more mines. Well, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. Ah, oh, so at least now you guys get to watch me die. <laughs> that sucks. That's that's really bad. Um. Okay, so nothing like losing progress. I was like nearly a half hour's worth of progress. That's cool, you know. Nothing quite like that. Do that. Drink some water. But actually, that's that kind of gives us a heads up on a couple things. So now we know that the um the what's your, oh, what the hell is that called? The rifle is definitely gonna be worth it. The radiated pistol is not worth it at all. Oh, actually, wait, I'm not going to find that now, am I? No, because I forgot. I found that. Ha. So, yeah, we're just going to use the shotgun, because the right or the rifle, because the rifle is actually pretty good. Um, Let's see here. I should have used one of those beds when I was down there. I didn't even think about that. Because I thought I was almost over. I didn't think I was going to run into freaking mines. Oh, well. It happens. See, those are the kind of things that you got to be able to willing to let go in this game. Like... I mean, I'm annoyed with it because I gotta redo some like content, you know. But at the same time, you know, it was a fair death. I did something that got me killed, and I have to replay it now. In all honesty, if I had um, what's it called? I don't have pause on my like recording thing. Crap. Okay, that works. Oh jeez. Watch, I'm gonna get killed by a float fly. How funny would that be? Come on. Wow, oh, that's a little bit ridiculous. It just flies away. It's like, nah. <laughs> oh shit, sounds like there's more fighting over here. Wait, are they actually shooting at it? Because they wouldn't shoot at other things, but they're gonna shoot at that thing. So let's take note of how far away they're shooting at this thing, but they're not shooting like in small corridors where like you know it's easy to shoot down. They're not willing to shoot at those people. Just make note of that because that's bullshit. Oh, you know what I could have done? I could have worn my power armor down here. That would look badass. Just like walk through, stomping through like a little dungeon thing, and it's actually pretty close. 
Now I kind of want to go grab my power armor. Let's see. Let's do this. On the bright side, now that we've done this, we kind of know where everything is, so we can know we'll know where to, like, where we can run through and where we got to be careful. Which is always a huge plus. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen ones and twos. Come on. Oh, that's right, I gotta talk to you, dipshit. The back entrance is safer, uh -huh. so it's time you learn why we're here. Don't care. Let's find a prototype then. Together with the uh -huh. first step is to override the security lockdown. Well, I'm waiting on you, buddy, so let's do this. Kind of wish I could find like a well, um, like a legendary one of these guns, like have with, like some kind of cool effect. No. No. Oh, I don't even know if I'd be no. too picky of what I found. I'd just be kind of happy. Missed one, you cocky bastards. The prototypes deeper inside. Because normally I have Someone the overseer's the guardian, which is basically just the this extra shot, or an extra bullet, projectile, yeah. whatever. And so I'm used to that as a sniper rifle. But I think it'd be kind of cool to find one of these that has some kind of different effect on it, just so that way I can try something new. Seeing as I am doing stuff short range this time around. I'm kind of bummed with how few of legendaries I've seen this, like, my entire playthrough. I think in, in the entirety I've only seen, like, five or so legendaries. I don't remember. Not that many either way. Oh jeez. Boom. Let's see what he's got. Same thing, which is unfortunate. Um yeah. Although, <clears throat> theoretically, I could give that to um people in my base and that'd make them do quite a bit more damage Wait, see the box in the center of that rail sign that means there's a cash nearby. Wait. It looks like maven hold on to hide something before wow. there is no box yeah. in the center Look of the ground nothing so that's something I was going to point out earlier when we were on the bridge I don't think any of the rail signs are actually showing up properly like how they intended Tinker them to managed to turn on the defenses oh yeah so let's see here Baseball grenade. Barely yep. slowed the coursers down, but hey, probably saved some lives. I don't think you've ever seen a courser, but they're top of the line in Institute. Let's fuck up your day, tech. <laughs> there shouldn't be any coursers in here, but if there are, just run. Powering weapons. Hopefully, that's the last of them. All right, so. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. <clears throat> Oh, believe me, I'm not robot, buddy. So I'm trying to debate, and actually, I'll let you. I'll leave this up to a vote, kind of for you guys. If anybody decides they want to actually like see a specific thing, I have never done either the railroad or the um. What are those guys called? The Minutemen missions, like the main ones. So if you guys have a preference on which one I actually do, I'll do either one for this playthrough. Um, I've only ever done Institute and Brotherhood of Steel and I've done both of them a couple times. So if you guys have a preference of doing one of the other two, I'd happily do it. So let's see here. <clears throat> My preference, I think, this playthrough is going to be Minutemen. Another active terminal. But I'm definitely open to other ideas. To the up ahead. Power them up. Because the railroad could kind of be cool, I guess. I mean, they're they're kind of idiots in general. I don't like them, but I definitely understand like, where they're hey. coming from. And they would kind of fit with my guy's idea with Combat that. He likes, he likes robots and stuff, so a synth is basically a robot. I don't have a 30% chance of hitting the head. I feel like I should have a much higher. Come on. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, that was luck. That was basically all luck. 
Oof. Okay. I think we're doing pretty good. We're moving pretty fast with very little issue so far, so I'm probably gonna get overweight here, so make sure my buddy's nearby. Yep. So I think this is where I got overweight last time too. Yep. Yo. Glad to be of service. See, this is the real reason why he's here. So like when I get mad at him for, you know, being a jackass, I can't really get too mad because I wasn't expecting him to be a, my main combat guy yet. He's still kind of the uh, pack mule. It won't be until later that I actually get like an actual combat robot with me, so. So it's okay. So this episode is going to turn out to be a little bit longer, so my apologies. So this, actually maybe I'll actually still stop it at like an hour and we'll continue like in like a part two kind of thing. Is someone present? Yes I am. So I'm just going to back up here. And actually, you know what? I think I'm going to leave the video off here. Um, this is a good stopping point to let kind of combat. We'll start off in combat next time around. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please do me a favor and leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.